start with your brother in five, five four, four, three, two, one, go. They say the kid has got more, so the flight club. Can't you tell by the way I use my wall? Travis stay way cooler than the hand in Louis. Yeah. Yeah. Like 20 times worse than my bar. Yeah, it took a little time, but I'm finally here. Hello and wa welcome to Dr. Colt. I'm Colt Butchick and today we will be discussing a very important matter in the United States. The fact that my grandparents love my friend Gavin Goldenfennick more than they love me, their own grandson. Today we've brought to the show Dr. Tina Rosenberg, who is an expert on interpersonal relationships. Please welcome to the show Dr. Rosenberg. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Great to have you on the show today, Dr. Great Tina. to meet you, Colt. So, can you tell me how common it is for grandparents to have this kind of bond with their grandson's friends? It's actually a lot more common than one would think. In fact, I was involved in a recent study that suggests that 7 out of 12 American families have this issue. Wow, I had no idea this was such a widespread epidemic. Well, you see, Dr. Cole, many times grandparents feel that their own grandchildren aren't living up to their expectations, and so they turn to one of their grandchildren's friends to live up to those expectations. So basically, you're saying I'm not good enough for my grandparents? Well, basically, yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Well, um, well let's go to a commercial break, and we will continue this once we get back. Oh, hey everyone. My name is Mitchell Rogers and I run a YouTube account called Mitchell 545. My account is dedicated to laughter and enjoyment to YouTubers around the world. If you want to see some good quality videos, then be sure to search Mitchell 545 on YouTube. Ping 4555 does not endorse, support, or encourage the watching of Mitchell 545's vi YouTube videos. Side effects may include laughter induced panic attacks, crying, pain in the abdomen, as well as diarrhea. Just kidding, watch Mitchell 545, but watch Ping 4555 first. Welcome back to Dr. Colt. Today we are discussing the fact that my grandparents love my friend Gavin Goldenfenning more than they love me. Now, I'm here today with Dr. Tina Rosenberg, who is an expert in interpersonal relationships. Now, Tina, I'm going to roll a few clips of some situations I have found myself in with Gavin and, you know, my grandparents. Uh, can you break them down for the audience? Sure. Let's see them. I wish Colt were more like you, you know. Smart, sensitive, and just you, you, you know what you want, and that's good. Well, thank like you, it. Grandma Butcher. Oh, you're welcome, but it's all so true. Hey, hello. Grandma. This is uh, my new girlfriend, Elizabeth. Hi. Oh, hello, Elizabeth. Hello. How are you? Good. Nice to meet you. Oh, Elizabeth, have you met Gavin? You guys should go to him. He's so hey, smart how's it going? and sensitive. Hey. Uh, no, go. Let's go, I guess. Okay. Have Hi, guys. Fun, guys. Bye. Be good. What the app, Grandma? Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, I got to get out of here, so. Well, we'll see ya. See you later. Okay, bye. Colt Michael, come here. Yeah, what's up? We need to have a talk. Why? You know, you need to give some serious thought about being more like Gavin. He's still here. Well, what do you see in those two clips, Dr. Tina? Well, in the first clip, we see that your grandmother does not think that you are good enough for your own girlfriend. She is experiencing what we call primophiltic athenia, which means that she doesn't think that you're fit to take care of a woman from her own position as a woman in your life. Well, I, uh... I wouldn't say I'm inadequate with women. Now, in the second clip, we see that your grandfather is experiencing something that is not only common in grandparents, but also in parents. He is experiencing inferior tachytheomia. This means that he doesn't believe that you're living up to what Gavin is. Okay. So, that's all the time we have. So, we'll be back in a few minutes after a word from our sponsors. Hey, 
Do you have problems with your anger? Are you getting in trouble with hurting those weaker than you? Well, if you are, then try my new, not addicting, safe for you method of releasing your anger. Baby punching! <sighs> Be like me, take your anger out the safe way by punching a baby right in the face! Ping 4555 does not approve, celebrate, or endorse punching babies. No real babies were harmed in the making of this video. If you find that you cannot stop punching babies or find that you have an erection lasting longer than four hours, contact your doctor immediately. Just kidding, but seriously, call a doctor. That's not natural. Thank you for watching Dr. Colts. Next week we will be exploring the addiction that is punching babies. Tune in and remember to watch my show. Hey, do you have problems with your anger? Are you gonna get in trouble for hurting those weaker than you? No. <laughs>